This problem deceived me so hard. Am I stupid? No, you are not stupid. Let me clarify this for you. We are solving a quadratic equation because here we have the highest power of x being the 2 right here. This equation is 2x squared plus x is equal to 6. And we have a few ways to do it. I will show you two ways. The first way is the way that you always try first. And that's by factoring. To do so, you want to have an equation in the standard form, and that's ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. The key is you want to have 0 on one side. Let's make that happen first, because this right here is not equal to 0, it's equal to 6. It's okay, let's just minus 6 on both sides. Let's bring that to the other side. So we will get 2x squared plus x and then minus 6. Is equal to 6. Notice that we cannot combine any terms because the variables and also the powers they are all different. x squared, x to the first, and this one has no x. Alright, we did the first step. We have one side is equal to 0. Now we are going to factor this quadratic expression, and if it's factorable, then most likely you end up with two factors first and also the second. So let me show you how you can factor this right here. I will show you the tic-tac-toe method. So just go ahead and draw the tic-tac-toe boxes like this. To make this work, you ask yourself, what times what will give you 2x squared? x times 2x, right? I think that's the only choice. OK. Of course, if you put 2 right here, that's OK too. 2x and x, that's fine too. But you have to be careful now, because we have to come here and ask ourselves, what times what will give us negative 6? Any word that matters. It's tricky, this one. Because we can have 6 and negative 1. We can have negative 6 and 1. And we can also have negative 1 here and 6 here. And let me demonstrate a wrong combination first. If I put down negative 1 here and 6 here, how do I know this is wrong? Let me show you. You will have to check the answer now by doing cross multiplication. x times 6 is 6x. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. This is wrong because 6x minus 2x does not give us plus dx. So this is not the correct combination. Sometimes you may have to change the orders here. Mm, sometimes you have to use different combinations to break down 6. So how exactly can we make this work though? So think about it. What times what will give us negative 6? Yeah, we can use 2 and 3 as well, right? And one of them has to be negative. Let's go ahead and put down 2 here and 3 here. Which one should be negative? You can of course put it here and then just give it a try. It actually works. If you put negative 3 here, again you do x times negative 3. That will give us negative 3x, and then x is right there already. I didn't erase that. <laughs> and then you do 2 times 2x, which is 4x. Together, negative 3x plus 4x, do we end up with x? Yes. Yes. So we have found our correct combination. And right here, when you read the answer for the factory, you go across x and the positive 2. So that means x plus 2. Then the second factor is 2x minus 3. Just like that. And that's the factoring part. Make sure you know how to factor trinomial really, really well in order to do well in your algebra class. And then, of course, this is equal to 0. And now, as you can see, we got to the second step. We factored this quadratic expression, and that's equal to 0. We can proceed. We will make the first factor equal to 0. So x plus 2 equal to 0. And then we also make the second factor equal to 0. So here we have 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Solve this, solve that. For the first one, just move the 2 to the other side by subtracting 2 on both sides. And we get x equals negative 2. Done for that. But for this, add 3 on both sides, cancel, and we get 2x equals 0 plus 3 is 3. And then lastly, divide both sides by 2. 
So x equals 3 over 2. Done. Two answers. x equals negative 2. And the other one is x equals 3 over 2. And right here, if I'm just learning how to solve a quadratic equation by factoring, and this will be done for you. That this is it. However, if you are also learning a quadratic equation, However, if you're also learning the quadratic formula, then I will show you the quadratic formula here as well. The quadratic formula. First, we want the equation in the standard form. Again, one side equal to zero. And we will have to know the a, b, and c value carefully, all right? So if you look at the original equation again, this is equal to 6. We will once again have to bring the 6 to the other side. What we did that earlier, we know it's 2x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. And then let's just pick up the a, b, and c values. Have a look. a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 2. b is the coefficient of x, which is 1. And then c is the last number right here, which is negative 6. Now we have the a, b, and c values. We can just throw them into this formula. I know this is a big formula, especially when you see it for the very first time. But just relax. Practice a few times, you can get it. All right, x equals, we have negative b. So we have negative b is 1. So just put that down. And have a good habit of open the parentheses whenever you're throwing numbers into the formula. Continue, we have plus or minus. Write that down right here. And then we have to open the square root. And then we have what? b squared. So I'll come here, b is 1. And again, put down our parentheses, square that. And the formula says minus 4, it's from the formula. Minus 4. And then ac means that we have to multiply a and c. a is 2, c is negative 6 like that. But not done yet, because this is all over 2 times a. So this right here, all over 2 times a, which is 2, right here. Whew, a lot. And in case if you're wondering that why this formula is true, I do have a proof on this formula. I will leave that in the description. So if you are interested, you can take a look. But now let's just finish this first. We have negative 1, and then we have the plus or minus, and then we have the square root. And then for the inside, let's just work it out on the side. I'll put it down right here. So 1 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 6. Work this out, 1 squared is 1, and then this is how I like to do this part. I like to work out the sign first. Negative times positive, which is negative. And then we multiply by one more negative, so all in all, we get positive. And then I'll do the numbers. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 6 is 48. And then 1 plus 48, we get 49. And this is a number that goes inside of this square root. And don't forget that we still have all this over 2 times 2, which is 4 right here. All right, let's take a look at the square root of 49. Can we work that out? Yes. So let's write down negative 1 and then the plus or minus. Square root of 49 is what? 7. Yes, you got it. Because 7 times 7 is 49. So square root of 49 is 7. And then this is over 4. So right here, you actually are going to get two answers just like what we did earlier. The first one is the one with the plus. And the second one is the one with the minus. So the first answer is x equals negative 1 plus 7 over 4. And the second answer is x equals negative 1 minus 7 over 4. All right? So let's work this out first. x will be negative 1 plus 7 is positive 6 over 4. Reduce this, divide it by 2, right? 2 goes into 4 2 times, and 2 goes into 6 3 times, so x equals 3 over 2. Alright, that's the first answer. 
And then for the second answer, negative 1 minus 7 is negative 8 divided by 4. Negative divided by positive is negative. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So the second answer is negative 2. Got it. Two answers just like what we got earlier. I know we did not have to use the quadratic formula for this equation, but there are equations that are not factorable, so later on you will have to learn the quadratic formula and the other methods called the completing a square. I do have videos on this kind of thing, so go ahead and check them out right here. And practice is the key to make this perfect, right? to master these kind of things. Practice. Hopefully this right here, hopefully this right here helps, and best wish to you. That's it.